it, it same sex um, if people uh, get to that particular point with their mate and they feel as though that they want to you know take that step and share the rest of their lives with fine you know you can't really um, you know put my or someone else's definition of what it should be on a, on a particular couple um, I, I think that it is a little bit of a it, 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 you know if you look at it you're saying is it, is it, does it fall under states rights or should it be pushed to the Supreme Court well, let's be realistic when you look at these individuals they are of a different type of thinking than what we are being in our particular generation we, I would say our generation and the generation behind us is more accepting and uh, you know more accepting and more tolerant of a lot of things that the older generation would not would not be uh, in favor of so um, like I said my, my view is I don't have a problem. Uh, I will say that uh, my view has changed over the past years uh, in regards to the thinking of it, and um, I, I really don't have a problem with uh, same sex marriage. Person, I mean, it, it's no you. You got you're the same opinion of the president because the president was opposing or wasn't really out there advocating for same sex marriages like he claimed on the campaign trail, but. You know, you, you're the opinion, I think, of the rest of the country, K-Dub. It's like it, it's not hurting uh, opposite sex marriages. You know, it's not hurting my marriage that gay people are getting married. It's not hurting anybody else's marriage. So it's not like somebody's out there. Or I mean, of course, if you're pro-gay marriage, you're out there, you know, with the banter, with the banners and everything and protests and saying that you want these rights. And I don't think anybody, you know, of course, not no everybody is not behind them 100% you know doing that but in the same respect who is it hurting and if it if, if it's not hurting us then you know i don't i don't see what the problem is it's pretty it's a pretty simple dry and cut to me big root and it's, and and uh you know real quick just you know um i had i've had the question you know does it really fall under civil rights because when i think about civil rights i think about you know uh, African Americans, so on, or black people, you know, not giving their particular alienable rights, but also, you know, I, I, you have to look on the other side and say, yes, you know, I, I, I can't, I can't discriminate against someone because of their sexual preference. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, everybody has their own opinions. I'm pretty sure a lot of the who's this guy you got up on the screen? I'm about to go over that in a second. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know about I know a lot of people got their own opinions and if you have your opinion hit us up 804-447-0601 if you're gay and you want to get married <laughs> call, I mean, you call ain't no half stepping we might arrange that for you <laughs> I, I don't think so but I think that's a little bit out of our jurisdiction but hey you know it, it's cool whatever you want to do now next thing last week we I, I'm pretty sure everybody heard about the the dude who was who was shot eating somebody's face off. Yeah. Yeah, so that was a little crazy. <laughs> that was a little crazy. And then everybody heard about the dude who sent body parts to some of the people in Canada, like the prime minister oh, and all that yeah, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, that crazy well, guy. Well, they caught him today. Wow. They, they caught him in him Germany at a, um, at a, where did they catch him at? They caught him at, at a, a video cafe. No, at a video <laughs> cafe. Right. Well, <laughs> The crazy part about this was the dude said to send a political message. Now, I don't know what sending what? a political message of killing a 33-year-old, you know, Chinese student in Canada. And dismembering was, him. Yeah, dismembering him, <laughs> sending feet and arms and stuff to everybody. Then on top of that, videotaping it and putting it on the internet. I don't know what that guy do about talking about I people. didn't know he did all that. Oh, yeah, a little crazy. And, you know, first of all, I'm glad they caught him because... I was a little worried to walk out, make sure ain't nobody trying safe, to cut safe, me up. The streets are safe now. Yeah. With this guy and zombies are out there too. By yeah, the way, yeah, the guy in Miami. That's not cool. <laughs> also, the crazy thing about it all, I don't know why this was important, but they said that he was a gay porn actor. Now, I don't know what that has to do with all this. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know what it has to do with the fact that he dismembered somebody, but it's funny how it's the media just kind of threw that in there. Oh, just to let you know, you know, the dude looks okay because he's a game poor actor. And I'm just like, really? Why are we I mean, That is kind of weird that a gay porn actor goes. I and mean, he had the plot. People. Yeah, he just go. I mean, that is a little weird. Not the fact that he's gay. I was going to say, why does it matter if he's a gay porn actor? 
I'm worried about how many gay porn actors are doing what this guy did. First of all, how many gay porn <laughs> actors care enough to do it? This, this guy one did. did. <laughs> I mean, but still, man, it's just you know, I just thought it was funny how the media just threw that out there, like, oh my God, he's a gay porn actor. He well, touched people well, up. You know, you know, you know, the media, the media has to throw out keywords to get your to kind of tweak your interest you know because to be honest with you if i'm if i had a story and it was like yo this guy was cutting people up you know you think like man that's kind of wild but if i tell you yo, this game porn actor was cutting people up and putting them in the mail you're gonna be like damn really that was funny <laughs> that's fu- that's real funny so, to me <laughs> and, even, and even you may mention to the whole uh the situation with the uh cat kind of losing themselves and stuff like that you notice that the first thing that the media did was they attached the word zombie to a lot of these those particular cases of individuals you know uh, uh eating people's faces and eating arms yeah. and so on and so forth so Ooh. you know that's just that's that's that media work that yeah, and, and and the zombie thing itself, which I'm not going to get into. <laughs> uh, Why not? That's, first of all, I don't know all the stories. And second of all, really, are we really talking about real zombies on the planet? I mean, no, it's just sensationalism. I mean, it's entertainment. I mean, to some, I mean, it's not entertainment because we're not that morbid. But I mean, it's news. It's just, it's it's something that doesn't happen on a regular everyday basis that somebody gets their face. Yeah. Eaten off Is it Aiden or Eden? Eaten Eaten with, with the E With the E You get your face Ate off I mean that's just Man it's after 8 o'clock man It's 8 You can say whatever you want to say Man <laughs> 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 you cold bro I mean yeah, that's crazy when I, when, when I saw that story I was like really And in Miami Like it, what's going? What's in the water down in Miami? I thought Miami was about you know lovely women and the beach and all that. There's a, was he homeless? Yeah. The homeless dude was the one that's face got ate off, yeah. right? And the dude that was on PCP or something was the yeah. one that ate it. Whatever this drug is, well, kids don't home, use it. And not to cut you off, but yo, check it, man. We gotta watch how we say that because do we really know he was on PCP? Keep in mind that the toxicology report was taken a while for that to come back. Yeah. Right, it might not have been. It might have been some I other stuff. Crazy. Yeah. All I know is that really makes me think about taking my talents to South Beach because I'm not sure if I want to do that. Uh, we got a call in the house. Um, we got we got our man AT calling in. What's going on, brother? Nothing much, brother. How you be? Good, good, good. How can we help you out today, man? He's serving you. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was at Burger King or something. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, I just just wanna just wanna call in. You know, uh, you know, show the support. Um, yeah, Comcast about about to hit my show soon. Cool, cool. Y'all getting ready to to do that thing on TV? Yeah. Good, good. So I gotta we we're talking about a couple of things. I don't know how how well you've been listening, at At, but you know, first of all, you heard they caught the dude who cut up the people in Canada. Cut up the dude in Canada. They caught him in Germany today. Oh, I, I didn't hear that. I, I missed that one. Okay. Yeah, they finally caught that dude. But the funny part about it is the I guess not funny part, but the the major part about it is that the media threw in that he was a gay porn actor, and we were just like, "What's that got to do with him cutting up people?" Wow. <laughs> I mean, really, what does that got to do with cutting up somebody and sending it to everybody and the high ranking officials? So what the man did, gay porn. I don't care about that. I care about this dude, Mike. Maybe you cut him up a special way, but other than a straight person. Man, what? Don't even come with that. That's not even cool, Gizzy. That's I mean, crazy. Maybe he, he he cut him up, but he didn't cut him up like somebody else. You know, that's why they might have added that to the no, story, Ruth. That had absolutely nothing to do with the story. Hey, what you got going on with your show tonight, uh, uh A? Uh, with the show, yeah, uh, we're going to be on Comcast 95, Rising 36, uh, we doing it, um, oldies, um, I believe we're doing the sounds of Motown with, um, legendary Richmond DJ Chocolate Chip. Yes, sir, and a half a pound of milk. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, y'all don't know about that. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, that's old school. You, you, you know what? I, I, I'm going to ask him to hit that joke tonight. Oh, yeah, he going to hit it for you. Yeah. <laughs> definitely going to hit it for you. Cool, cool. Well, appreciate it for calling today, AT, man. We, we no, no doubt, no we doubt. Uh, you tonight. know, uh, yeah, uh, South is all the way. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> you know, I I can't be mad at that because to be perfectly honest with you, at this point in time, the Celtics are my last hope of a decent champion 
this year. And and I hate to say that since I'm a Lakers fan, but if I got a rule for if I got to root for somebody, I got to root for my diehard enemies. Go green and white. Wow. That's right. I see. Wow. Yeah. Um. You know, but, but my my um my prediction that I, I feel that the NBA wants is the uh the Miami Heat and, and OKC for rating wise. Of course, I want to see that. Want, but I don't want to see the Heat anymore. Like my boy said. OKC versus Heat is a whole bunch of isolation basketball. There are over yeah, 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 yeah. I, I say, uh, no, no fundamentals. Just, just, just dunking and running. Yep. <laughs> <Y'all crazy. laughs> you know, but, but, but if you got the Spurs in the cell, that, 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 that's the that's total opposite. That's, that's boring, fundamental, old age, wheelchair basketball. You got something to say about that, Kato? Uh, uh. <laughs> hey, no, speechless. Kato don't want to I, see like, San Antonio. I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be mad if it was OKC in Miami. And like I told y'all before, man, OKC, we're gonna come out the West. We're gonna win the whole joint, and uh, looks like it's gonna be OKC. So that's just uh, my, uh, my two cents. <laughs> wow. All right, At. I appreciate you calling in today. We'll okay. Definitely. No doubt. Where can we check the show at again? Okay, we um tonight you can check me Comcast ninety five or Rising thirty six for the classics, and on Friday with my man Jay Brizzy, um uh, you can text the Aaron Turner show on the fan radio dot listen to my radio dot com at seven o'clock. We're gonna do a special show on um domestic violence Ooh. and um uh, called Where Love Hurts. Oh man, that sounds heated this weekend. It sounds heated. I right, at appreciate it, man. Much luck okay. today. Take it easy. All right, I'll take care, brother. You too. All right. All right. Big ups to AT for calling in. Thank you, sir. We appreciate the appreciate the love. Appreciate the love. We gonna take one more one break. more break. One more break, and then we gonna get into some of the what I really want to talk about. So, ladies. Yeah. Tell your man to come and listen because he want to get a piece of this. <laughs> this is for the gentlemen only. Ladies, we love y'all too. You can listen, but this is strictly for the gentlemen. Ain't no half stepping. I used to love ATR in the house. Uh, yes, love yes, from common. Hey, you See you in the future. Stop. To the beat, y'all. Hey, you don't stop. Yes, yes, y'all. Hey, you don't stop.